Hello friends, Sandeep here again. Welcome to our channel, E-Construct Design and Build Private Limited. In this particular video, we are going to study about the waterfall techniques, different techniques of the uh, project management, how as a site engineer, as a site coordinator, project manager, BIM technologist, resident engineer, you can manage the project more effectively. So let's get started. So there are various different types of techniques are there. First one is basically the waterfall technique. Another one is the AB analysis. And the third one is the agile systems. So what is that? Waterfall technique, as you know that the water is dropping from here, the water will just flow in one particular direction. There is no way that the water is going to go in the other direction. Just like on the site, you know, after doing the excavation, then you will do the PCC, then you will do the RCC, then you will do the take the columns, then there is a plinth level. It is going slowly, flawlessly from one direction to the other direction. Is this the waterfall technique is wrong? It's not wrong. It is a good technique. And it is required definitely. At the same time, you require a certain AB analysis. For example, many people they say that how many labors you required, how many equipments you required, how you are going to do the rate analysis. It's very difficult. It is not that difficult. Let's say, for example, you want to open a restaurant. You have opening the restaurant, you do not know how many number of customers will be there. On the very first two days, two, three days, if you do not give the proper service, the same customers, they may, may not turn up again. Why? Because they will say, they give you the label that the service food might be okay, but service is not good. So for that, very good restaurant people, the chain of restaurants, what they do is they think that, you know, let's say 20 people are required, we will take 35 or maybe we'll take 40. Minimum 30 to 40 percent or maybe 50 percent, maybe 100 percent numbers, they will increase for the very first one or two weeks, which they call it as the honeymoon period. That's not a honeymoon which you are talking about. It's a new venture which we are doing and we are trying to adjust and understand how the customer reacts, how the things are working. Same thing if you apply, we call it as A, B analysis. Same things if you apply in the construction industry. Yes, actually we are starting the project, foundation is there, this is the concreting is there. How many labors we require? We require 20, 30 labors, let's take 40, 45, 50 labors. You know the volume of concrete, how much it is needed? At the same time, what is the it's escalation cost of that? It is hardly anything. But what happens if the numbers of labors are getting reduced than what you really required in the industry? Then there will be a big problem. So instead of that, if you take 30, 40% or maybe 50% or maybe 100% more, what happens is you will get an AB analysis that, okay, I have deployed a little more number of people. I can easily reduce in the next lot. When we are going to do the further concrete, we can instead of maybe 80 or 90 labors, we can reduce it to 50 or maybe 40 labors. labors. So obviously your AB analysis is proper at the same time quality control, there you are not jeopardizing the quality of the structure, you are not jeopardizing the safety of the structure and the safety of the people who are working on the site. So obviously the number of helpers, the unskilled laborers and the skilled laborers particularly, not the engineers, sometimes engineers also you might require. But whenever you are dealing with such kind of uncertain activities and haphazard kind of cast in situ concreting and all, when you want to do the rate analysis, you know, the rate analysis through the CPWD and other things, you can take that ballpark figure, but at the same time, you should do this AB analysis. As a project manager, I would like to suggest that based on that skills, you are going to enhance the efficacy of the project completion. One more thing I wanted to tell you. Apart from the AB analysis, is there any something else is available? Yes, it is known as the agile system. Now, this particular system is generally getting utilized in many other industries, let's say software industry and all. In the construction industry, what is it doing? Yes, in the construction industry, let me tell you everything. That if you are doing plastering, is it a better way of doing plastering with the little cost effectiveness and the speed? Can we increase it? Can we have certain optimization in this? That thing comes up in the Agile system. If you take the waterfall system, it is linear. There is no reversal action. AB analysis is between the A and B, between which one is better. 
one one percent better, two two percent, five percentage better. Which one is better? Will take you take the graph to the higher level of efficacy. Agile system is you know different different options that you will work on different different segments, and based on that, this is basically used for the comparatively bigger projects. And which particular option is very good for the effective completion of the project within the time frame and within the budget. Okay, so this is all the, these are all different types of project management systems. Yes, there are so many advanced levels are, uh, uh, levels are also there like Six Sigma and all. Also the new technologies, which you call it as the BM technology, which will take you, your project to a completely different level. Daily progress reports, daily uh, witnessing certain things would help you to reduce the risks. Who has done the mistake regarding fixation of the responsibility as well as taking the sublating the risk from one from the developer to the concerned persons contracts management tender management and all the other types of management are also required to make sure that the project delivery is proper okay so i hope you really like this video if you really liked it please thumbs up if you really loved it please subscribe the channel thank you so much bye bye